For anyone not really familiar with Guam's boating scene, it is definitely a utopian water paradise when it comes to water-related activities, fishing, diving, and recreational boating. From fishing boats to power boating, from large sailing yachts and charters, Guam offers it all. Whether you want a kayak or parasail, it's all available right here. For anyone not really familiar with Guam's boating scene, the island is host to four boating marinas. Authorized under public law, marina operational functions were transferred from the Department of Parks and Recreation to the Port Authority of Guam in the early 1980s. This gave the Port Authority responsibility of managing and maintaining the Aganya Boat Basin and any future recreational boating marinas. Today, the port owns and operates four recreational boating marinas with over 150 dock slips leased to various tenants. The Gregorio D. Perez Marina, also known as the Aganya Boat Basin, is located in Guam's capital city of Hagatna. Operated by the Port Authority, the marina houses recreational and some small commercial vessels. Here is where many daily fishermen launch their boats. It is also where several fishing charters call home, as well as a couple of parasail boats. The Agate Marina is located in the southern village of Agate, and it offers a privately operated restaurant, bar, and gift shop on the port-owned property. The marina was constructed in 1992 and houses residential, recreational, and some commercial vessels. This is where many tourists are bused to where they depart from on dolphin watching tours. Local fishermen can also launch their trailered boats from here. Apra Harbor is a deep water port on the western side of the United States Island Territory. The harbor is formed by Arudi Peninsula in the south and Cabras Island in the north. To the south, the harbor narrows and then widens again to form an inner harbor. Here it is where you will find the Aqua World Marina and the Harbor of Refuge. Both of these facilities are located in protected waters of the inner Cabras Island area and are nearly conjoined. They are privately run marinas under separate management agreements with the Port Authority of Guam. Both marinas house residential, recreational, and commercial vessels. Several dive boat operators also are located here. The Marianas Yacht Club is not a marina per se, but does offer a few offshore moorings. Founded in 1969, the Marianas Yacht Club provides a safe, well-regulated locale for pleasure sailing yachts, sailing dinghies, catamarans, paddleboards, kayaks, and more. The club offers programs such as their Youth Summer Sailing Program led by U.S. Sailing Certified Instructors. The club also offers camps and clinics, offering a wide range of choices from learn to sail classes to racing seminars. Many of these programs are discounted for club members and most are open to members and non-members alike. For more information about the Mariana Shack Club, you can reach the club using the posted information here or I'll leave some information in the description box below. In addition to the four public marinas, there is one federal government marina located on the U.S. Naval Base, Guam. The Sume Cove Marina and Adventure Center offers slips for both residents and refuge, but they are generally available only to eligible military patrons. Back when I was on active duty here in the late 1970s, I had a boat and I would launch it from the Sume boat ramp here. We sure did a lot of fishing and skiing back in those days, and I still dream of owning another sailboat, but there are about a dozen reasons not to. I might just need to stick to kayaks and paddle boards. During a recent visit to the Aganya boat basin, I happened across something going on. Apparently some fisherman was caught with his nets in the harbor channel, which is a big no-no, since the channel is considered a navigable waterway. Woo! 
from what I understand from some of the eyewitnesses here, this is not this individual's first offense. All we can do is just go by what the law says. That's yeah. that we can do, you know. Well, he ran away. Yeah. And this boat will be confiscated. It should come as no surprise that there are plenty of boating and water activities available to island residents and visitors to Guam. After all, we are surrounded by water. Thank you.